Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I made mom jeans out of bootleg jeans and you can pretty much use any kind of jean and modify it to something that you like. So I've never made clothing or modified anything myself, so I did need some help from my grandma. Overall, it's not too difficult if you're a beginner like myself. I thought it was a lot simpler than I thought. So material-wise, you don't need too much. You just need the pair of jeans you want. You need yourself and maybe a pair of pants that you want to compare it to. Measuring tape or ruler, some chalk for marking, or even some safety pins, and scissor for cutting, and a sewing machine or just a needle and thread if you don't have one. That's pretty much it. So let's just get started with what I did. So the first thing I did was try it on the jeans and I just looked to see where I had to alter and thankfully the waist fit me so I didn't have to really change that and I mostly had to change from the knee below. It was too wide so I just kind of looked at that. So depending on the style you're going for, see if you can find another pair of pants that has a similar shape that you can follow along. It makes the overall process a lot easier. Next I just lay the pair of pants on top of the jeans and I just kind of compared where I needed to cut off and how much I had to cut. And this is where my dog decided to come sleep on my pants and he just didn't want to move after that. So my grandma helped me trace the outline of what to cut and the width of the ankle since I was using sweatpants and you can also pin it to try it on. So the plan is to cut off this entire part we traced and for the rest of the stitching we're going to take it out then replace it with the same stitching that's on the outside part of the pants. So this is what it looked like after all the stitching was out. And now using this really big fabric scissor, it's time to cut off the excess that we don't need. And now it's time to sew the seams together. I had to get my grandma to help because it just wasn't working for me. Make sure you fix the inside as well or else it'll fray when you wash them. And this is the final product. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm also super thankful that my grandma was able to help me with the sewing part. I found that very tricky. So definitely try it out for yourself and let me know how it goes. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.